three minutes and go. You know, I, I started this thing yesterday where I got on in prayer uh, because it, in light of what happened yesterday, I, I'm going to continue. And it's something positive I'm going to try to do every day for myself to get myself centered and ready for the day. And uh, yeah, so to my fellow survivors and members of a club that we never thought we wanted to be. Uh, and even if you just need a moment of prayer or you need someone to pray for you, if you want to join me, I'd be honored. Dear God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Father God, I humbly come for, forward to you today, a man who is broken, a man who needs hope and direction in, in a world where it seems that no matter how much good we put out there, there's always more evil that's standing in our way. The next mountaintop just shows us how much higher we have to go. Father God, I humbly ask that you spread your love and your guidance and your grace and your mercy on the people who wake up today from the UNLV tragedy, just like we did six plus years ago, Father God. I ask that you guide their hearts and their minds to settle and let them know that they are not alone, Father God. I, I pray that you, you put your healing hand of peace on those who wake up today with guilt that they survived or ran and hide because they were doing what they needed to do to survive, Father God. I pray that you give your loving embrace to the families who wake up to the terrible, terrible news that their loved ones were stolen by a random act of violence and cowardliness. Father God, I pray that you put your loving embrace about the city of Las Vegas one more time as they deal with another tragedy that was senseless and uncalled for, Father God. I ask that you Give us hope and, and empower us to continue our mission, Father God, in a world where it seems like no matter what, we always come up short spreading the message of hope and love. But let the world know, Father God, that we will not go quietly in the night, Father God, that we will continue to stand in the face of, of, of hate and anger and frustration and let them know that love will always win, Father God, because you've placed that mission on our heart. The people that support this mission, Father God, all over the world, may you empower them to stand strong today. Raise their hand up to those who are struggling and say, we are here, Father God. We know the struggle that you're going through. We've been down the road that you are unfortunately having to start today, Father God. And let them know that the fiery pits of their anger and frustration and brokenness and pain is not the end of their world, Father God, because we are living proof that everything that you put in front of us, not only can we get through, we break through and we use as a breakthrough for a setup for the next great thing. Father God, I know that you do not make these things happen, but you allow us the ability to get through them, Father. I know that we are in a battle with evil and that you are giving us the empowerment to step through our greatness, to show us that we can do anything through you, with you, and because of you. Father God, I just humbly say thank you for the ability to no longer let the moment define me, but it has refined me to spread a message of hope, healing, and love, Father God. I pray that today is a day of, of mass, mass, mass spreading of kindness, just like the world showed us the day after October 2nd when things were finally settling and people were coming back out and trying to help. The lines were around the block with blood donations, water donations, and everything else, Father God. I just give you this all the glory and just let you know that we will never lose sight that you provide everything for us in our darkest of times. And that these people who are going to be forced with some hard decisions in the upcoming days know that they are not alone, Father God, because you've given us the ability of Route 91 survivors, Love Wins, Pulse survivors, Columbine survivors, everybody who's gone through something similar before them to be able to stand up tall and say, we are here for you. We love you. We will embrace you. We will make sure that you truly know you are not alone. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Today, when you uh, you go out into the world, please do a random act of kindness. You never know who or what you're going to change in the world because you never know what battle someone's fighting. 
in a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's priceless, it's free, and I promise you, it will change the world one random act of kindness at a time.